Life Review video. Today we're looking at State Street Global Advisors SPYD, the SPDR Portfolio S&P 500 High Dividend ETF. Today's April 2nd, 2024. Let's jump right in. The overview. The SPDR Portfolio S&P 500 High Dividend ETF seeks to provide investment results that before fees and expenses correspond generally to the total return performance of the S&P 500 High Dividend Index. Why SPYD? It's a low-cost ETF that seeks to provide a high level of dividend income and the opportunity for capital appreciation. The index is designed to measure the performance of the top 80 high dividend yielding companies within the S&P 500 Index. One of the low-cost co low, low core SPDR portfolio ETFs, a suite of portfolio building blocks designed to provide broad, diversified exposure to core asset classes. Key facts. SPYD has been around since October 21st, 2015. It is $6.7 billion under management. Morningstar has this in a mid to large blend with a one star overall rating. It currently has 83 holdings and 99.63% asset as uh, asset allocation is in equities. It does not get income from derivatives or options trading. It's not an actively managed fund, nor is it leveraged or an inverse fund. Some key statistics. This has a low expense ratio of 0.07%. It has a current PDE ratio of 14.99. It distributes dividends quarterly and its last dividend uh, payout was 37 cents per share. It has a current share price of $39.77 with a 46% portfolio turnover rate. The trailing 12 month distribution yield sits at 4.7%. It has a 30 day distribution yield of 4.80%. However, it has a year to date total return of negative 0.82%. Uh, it's one year total return sits at 1.97 and it has a lifetime total return of 8.07%. It currently has two managers with a combined experience of about 35 years. The top 10 holdings, along with the benchmark, the S&P High Dividend, S&P 500 High Dividend Benchmark, we have number one, Iron Mountain at 1.46%, One OK Inc. at 1.39%, number two, Public Service, number three, Public Service Enterprise Group Inc. at 1.3%, four, 3M Co. Group, 1.38%, Altria Group, 1.37%, uh, now we have Eversource Energy, Ford Motor, Company, Ford Motor Company, and Hasbro Inc. at 1.36%, all respectively. Number nine, International Business Machines, IBM at 1.35%, and lastly, number 10, Citigroup at 1.35%. The equity sector breakdown is as follows. We have a high weighting in real estate, 25.75%, uh, and number one. Number two, financials, 20.64%, number three, utilities at 16.7%, followed by consumer staples at 7.34, healthcare 6.25, materials at 6.23, consumer discretionary at 5.32, energy at 5.25, communication services 2.51, industrials 2.42, and lastly, information technology at the lowest 1.52%. The geographic footprint for this ETF is United States 98.8%, and then the United Kingdom at 1.2%. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do not take any of this information as financial advice. This information is purely for entertainment and educational value only. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Hi, I'd like to take a minute to share with you some of our affiliate partners. Charles Schwab, you can sign up through the link below uh, in the description or through this QR code. Uh, they are offering cash deposits when you make a deposit into a Charles Schwab account. We use Charles Schwab here on this platform uh, for the research that we provide. Fidelity has an amazing e-money partner link. Uh, you can combine all of your online accounts and it gives you an awesome experience. It's called uh, Fidelity Full View. Robinhood is an amazing mobile experience. Uh, it's got a fun app, easy to use, uh, very awesome brokerage account, uh, customer service is great. 
Thank you guys so much again. We hope we can help you out and see you guys in the next video.